Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw and we are playing Criminal Case Case 56 A Cure Among Us. Let's unlock chapter 2. So one of our team members is a killer because he stole the, s the spikes to use the, to stop Frank's car and kill Danny. So, and also the killer used the stun gun, and only a policeman could have a stun gun. So, it's gotta be a t our team. Some one of our team members is a killer. Get here. I think it's how you face the facts. Whoever killed Danny was connected to this department. We can't trust anyone. Chief, I know the spike strip the killer used to stop Frank's car came from our armor, but still, I can't believe anyone in your team could betray us like that. We could take any chance, even more so since Danny implied the sixth highest member was part of the police. Chances are they killed Danny to protect their secret. Oh, Katria, I don't think I can handle this pressure. We need to find a way to prove our team had nothing to do with this. Well, start by going to the armory. We know the killer went there to get the spike strip and leave no stone unturned. Got it? Okay, I'm just checking if this is recording. I don't know. I just uh, have a feeling that uh, I didn't press the play button. Okay, nothing to do with the game. All right, let's investigate the armory. Oof, I don't like this because one of our team members is going to be a killer, and most of our suspects are team members. There, so uh, now we got uh, Frank, Hannah, and Russell. Now we need two more suspects. Uh, okay, coffee pot. Where are you? Oh jeez, no, 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 no. Ah. Okay, strip the tape. There, ah, come on. Oh, uh, broken pieces. Those, yeah. Okay, you got it. Uh, metal locker. Weapons, you say. <laughs> okay, fire alarm. Uh, real shield. Where's the coffee pot? Oh, there. Give me that coffee. I need to wake up myself. Okay, I don't know. So I'm gonna wake up Amy. <laughs> okay, I don't drink coffee, so it's pretty weird to be searching our own armory. Did you find any trace of the curious face at Katarina? I agree, those broken pieces look out of place. Let's put them back together. But why are you interested in that weapons locker, Katria? The armory is full of weapons. Alright, the lock is damaged. Well, I bet you know the code by heart, so I'll let you unlock it. Oh my heart. Oh that was very nice of you to say that. <laughs> Alright. Let's do these broken pieces first. Alright, here we go. Uh, what the fuck is this going to be? A skull? Hey there! Hmm, so those broken pieces you found in the armory make this little skull? Wait, I feel like I've seen it before. Oh my lord, you're right. Roxy wears a pendant just like this. Do you? Do you think it's hers? No, Roxy now. Okay. And fourth suspect is our, our team member. But what was Roxy doing in the armory? Coroners don't carry guns. Yeah, there it looks like we need to add Roxy to the suspect list. Let's go talk to her. Okay, what up, Roxy? Damn it. Who is going to be the fifth one? Our chief? Okay, we don't know that for sure, so here we go. Let's do this uh, weapons armory. <laughs> oh, just lock her. No! This one. Fuck. Fuck, no. This one. Okay. You got the weapons locker open. Anything inside? Oh, a stun gun is missing. And we know the killer used a stun gun to kill Danny. And since they stole the spike straight from here, they might have taken this gun too. What's that at the bottom of the locker? A gold coin? Haha, <laughs> the killer left a gold coin behind. Their first mistake. Let's get this to. Wait, half the team are suspect. What do we get this to? Okay, maybe I can find something on this coin. I just hope we can trust him. Oh, you wanted to send that to Russell, but he's a suspect. Oh, jeez. Now it's going to be hard because most of our team members are suspects now. <laughs> okay, now let's go talk to Roxy. What do you got to say for yourself? 
Cool, Catherine, I found my necklace. I wear the same thing every day, so I have a spare of all my clothes. Where did you find it? We found it in the armory. Um, Roxy? I'm afraid you're now a suspect in our investigation. See, the killer broke into the armory there. I was suspecting in that geek's brother just because I was in the armory. Look at you, you only send me one body for every investigation you do. I got lots of free time, so sometimes that guy, I go to the armory and have a little nap, that's all. Roxy, if that's true, that's completely unprofessional. Anyway, I'm afraid you don't have a choice. You need to leave the premises until the investigation is over. But who's going to do your autopsies? Who's going to make really funny jokes? You're dead wrong about me, Katarina. We'll see about that, Roxy. Okay. Now I just need to... Wait for this golden coin to finish. And Jan is doing the analysis and not the Russell. <laughs> okay. We just gotta wait for this to finish. So see you in a little bit. And we are back. So let's see. What's this gold coin about? Please, Jan, tell me if you have something from us. Because you... It's Russell who always does that that kind of puzzle now. He said that he said that to you. Cause I have some bad news. Yeah, don't tell us you're a suspect in this investigation too. I couldn't take it. No, but I didn't find anything on that gold coin. Cause I said I'm a complete failure. Don't worry, I can help. Come on, let's see. What will Russell do? What do you think that M on the coin means? Menagio, Menagio Casino, huh? Katria is right. M is the logo for the Menagio Casino, the one the high scare robbed. So, this isn't just a gold coin, it's a gambling chip, which means which means that the killer will gamble. See ya, we can do anything with Katria on our side. So, what? We found a coin? That means he's a gambler, huh? Katria hates not being able to trust anyone. Hey, maybe we shouldn't even trust what Jan tells us. You're right, getting away from the station would do me good. Let's go back to the junkyard. We may have missed some case breaking clues. You know, I know who's the gambler around here, around our team members? It's Frank, because he has beaten that uh, shake in the very first case uh, in the poker, so. He's gotta be the gambler, so. <laughs> Oh, and I like this. Is Frank going to be the killer, huh? Okay, we don't know that for sure, so let's not, let's not just jump to conclusions, alright? Okay. Suspect rap sheet. Danny Moto, murder, robbery, and rest of it is faded. Okay, I got everything. Okay, Foxy, what did you find? Oh, thanks. Even though it's not enough, but whatever. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. The Heist Gang used this junkyard to dump their stuff. Look at that bag of equipment you found. Let's go through it. That piece of paper you picked up has a picture of the victim on it. What else does it say? Suspect rap sheet. Oh, I see. This is the list of charges that he received when he was formally arrested for Luis Derrico's murder. But how did it end up here? You're right, there's something else written there. I'll get you a dusty kid so you can have a closer look. Alright. I'll do it. <laughs> Alright, let's do this suspect rap sheet. Keep your mouth shut or you are going to get it. Oh, a threat, you say. That ma the message written on Danny's rap sheet says, Keep your mouth shut or you are going to get it. Because they have someone threatened the victim. But who would have written this? The only person who sees this paper apart from the culprit is police officer in charge of feeling the arrest. Oh no, Katrina, don't think Frank wrote this threat. Do you? But why? I agree. We need to get over to Frank's house and ask him about this. I just hope he'll have a good explanation ready. Oh, Frank! What the hell are you thinking? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's uh, search this equipment now. Oh, what's that supposed to be? Oh, a graph, you say? Oh? You find a piece of paper that hides the equipment? What is it? A secret plan? A confession? Oh, it's a sort of graph, but the people next to it, there's, these are killers you caught, Katria. Oh yeah, it's that uh, from the circus, then that uh, that guy who works in the hotel, and our shake, or fake shake, because he was just an actor. Oh, it's some sort of graph, but the people next to it, these are killers you caught, Katria. Look, there's Shake Faisal, and that's Jeremy Bowman, remember him? He killed a stripper? 
Looks like someone is examining your old cases, but why? Did there's more written there? Well, clear it up fast, we need to get to the bottom of this. Interesting, you say, but who is doing that? And it's going to be one of our team members, because most of our suspects are, are team members. Oof, I don't like this. And... Danny Moto! R, B, X, Y, X, D, B, 7, this only must be deleted. That crap fan at the jacket only gets more worried. He has a picture of our victim on it. There's a note too, it reads R, R, A, R, B, X, Y, X, D, B, 7, this anomaly must be deleted. Katrina, is that a death threat? Was someone thinking of deleting Danny? We need to find out more about this crap. I hope Jan is good at algebra. Oh, again, to the yawn. Why can't I do that if you can't? 12 hours. <sighs> yeah, well, for coin, it was 12 hours for nothing, and what's going to be for the graph? Okay, we don't know that for sure. Let's go talk to Fred, because you threatened Danny, huh? Why? Whatever possessed you to write that threat to the victim, Fred? Asking him to keep his mouth shut? I expected better. Oh, damn, so you found it. But yeah, it's not what you think. Look, I... When you call me saying Danny might know who the sixth man was, I started thinking. I mean, obviously it was someone inside the department. I thought, well, it's weird that someone would betray us without us noticing. You know, Katia knows everything. So I... I thought maybe Danny was going to say that. That Katarina was the inside man. I just wanted to protect you, Katarina. I didn't want Daddy to ruin your career. What? Me? Why? I'm not that. I'm not a criminal, for fuck's sake. Frank, what the hell were you thinking? Are you mad? Katarina helping criminals of all the. Look, I admit I was a bit hungry from the pork game I went to the night before, but he made sense at the time. I knew it! You are gambling. Don't go anywhere. Frank, I swear. Hello there! Karen, uh, you are back. And you are naked. Ooh! A sex? Right before uh, interrogating you, huh? What's all this shouting? Francis, are you coming back to bed? Karen, I. I. You two are back together? Yeah, why are you two back together? You split it up. Or, <laughs> If you're going to say that. Yes, we are. It's just like old times. Only now we make love in the police armory and not the back seat of Francis' old tree. At the police armory? You fucking woman. I'm gonna kill you. Well, <laughs> metaphorically. <laughs> You've been having relations with the police armory? That's a crime scene. Karen Katia needs to talk to you about this. Fine. Francis, keep the bad war from me. I don't call him Francis, I think I would more prefer Frank, I think it's that's better. <laughs> okay, now we have Karen as a suspect, huh? Here we go, let's go talk to her. <laughs> nice to see you with your clothes on, Karen. So, how often do you and Frank use our police armory to fool around? That's a personal question. Oh yeah? Answer it then. See, that is here stole several items from our armory. We thought they were a police officer, but now we know you weaseled your way in. I never saw anything in my life, let alone killed someone. So you just suddenly decided to get back with Frank? I don't believe it for a second. You used it to get inside the station, didn't you? Love is a magical thing. You should try it sometime. Francis has changed since he started working with Commander Katria. He's more considerate. Francis even helps around the house, repairing small electronics. Of course I could do it myself, but the gesture's nice. After the busy days I have, coming home to a glass of whiskey and an uncomplicated man is perfection. So accuse me of anything you like, Katria, but never accuse me of not caring for Francis. I'd do anything for him. Oh... Interesting. And Frank is the number one suspect. Oh. What the hell, Frank? Okay, we just gotta wait for this graph. Do we have all five suspects? Yeah. And most of them are our team members. And there's uh, Karen, who is. She's not our team member, but uh, she knows Frank. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see who's number one. Okay. Karen. Only this misses, and Frank is the number one suspect. Oh, okay. Nothing from Hannah, nothing from Russell, nothing from Rox yet. So be aware, I'm gonna catch any one of you. Alright, we're just gonna wait for this graph annotation to finish, so see you all a bit.
And we are back, so let's see what's this graph annotation is about. What are you doing to speak out there? Please bring the team back. I could barely work out anything from this graph failure chocolate. So you didn't do anything. Wow, I knew it. All I found online was that RB IARB stands for Abnormal Repetitive Behavior, a criminal psychology term. You don't mean this crap belongs to Russell, do you? I'm sorry, I need to go and talk to Russell about this. Oh, Russell. Uh... <laughs> okay, let's go talk to Russell then. Russell, what does this graph mean? You wanted to delete Danny. You found my masterpiece? I'm creating an algorithm which would enable us to find killers before they actually hurt anyone. Except Danny came along and ruined everything. He didn't fit the profile, you see. His results are well outside the usual curve. I tried everything to fix the results. I built an entirely new electronic device to try and resolve the problem, but nothing worked. The news momentarily dented my confidence, but it was nothing a night out in Paradise City with whiskey and roulette couldn't fix. Well, congratulations, you are now number one suspect among Frank. And the good news is, now that he's dead, I can disregard these results. My beautiful graph works. What? A boy is dead and all you care about is the results of some stupid research? Don't you care how suspicious this makes you? Don't you see what that does to me? I don't understand. What have you got to do with this? You know, for a genius, you're the stupidest man I ever met. Let's go, Katria. Stupidest. <laughs> good, good, good. Later, at the office. Katrina, Dennis Kiro must be someone on our team, but who? I can't see any of our friends doing this. Sure, Russell wanted Danny dead so his research data was clean, but he never killed someone for that, would he? And Frank claims he threatened Danny to protect you, Katarina? It's so stupid he has to be lying. Maybe his ex wife is influencing his behavior. I don't trust that woman. Katarina, we need to talk about something. Hey, Hannah! Long time to see. Hannah, what are you doing here? You're a suspect. You can't stay here. That's the thing. I'm here to confess. Katarina, I'm the one who was helped with the heist team. I am the sixth man. What? You? No, I don't think so. It's gonna be someone else. <laughs> we are going to arrest her at the very... At the end of the chapter 2 or more precisely at the beginning of the chapter 3. No, I don't think so. She's trying to protect someone from our suspect list. So, we're gonna stop here. We're gonna continue playing chapter 3. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video. And I'll see you again. Goodbye.